Hello, today I'm working on a Mac Mini that has a bad hard drive. It won't boot, and this is a late 2014 A1347 Mac Mini, uh, EMC 2840. So I'm gonna try to figure out how to open this up. There are three clips under here. So there's one of them. There's the other one. And then the third one over here. Oh boy. <laughs> it's very dusty. <sighs> wow, I didn't expect that. Um, are these security torques? They are, do I have TR6 bit? I do. So these are TR6 which is a bit annoying and they are different so so these three screws there there and there are 1.9 millimeter screws very short and then the other three are 4.1 millimeter screws and these actually have the the clips that the lid was holding on to oh i see so the screw isn't actually longer so now this lid should come up to this antenna plate which is going to be connected with an antenna wire over here so i can pull that antenna wire the antenna wire was tucked under the edge and it comes around to here and that's a t6 so i can use this same t R6 bit, I think. Okay, so that's free. Okay, so I've blown some of the dust out of here, and now I'm just going to take the rest of it apart. I need to take the cooling fan off. These first two screws have big rubber bumpers on them, and then this third screw here is captive. It won't come out of the fan. It'll stay in there. So it's clipped into the fan. Now, as I lift this up, I have to be careful because the connector is still plugged into the system board here so I need to lift that connector out so I just lift up on it and it comes up out of there <clears throat> same with the this connector next door is the infrared sensor the IR sensor so the remote control sensor and that's going to be tricky to get out of there because it's really pushed up against this. Maybe I can get it with two spudgers. Yeah. Okay. And now this, this connector goes to the M2 drive. So it's, I guess that's an M2 connector. There are two other connectors. This M2 connector and then over here, the SATA connector. This goes to a little ribbon cable that goes to the, the SATA drive, which is underneath the M2 drive. This is a Mac hybrid drive setup. So I'll start with this one by taking that screw out. These are tiny screws. And now this bracket should come off of that cable, but it doesn't. And this one, it's kind of stuck on there. So I'm going to lift the cable off and I'm just going to leave the bracket on there because it's not doing any harm as long as I don't lose it. And then I will remove the M2 cable connector and on this one the plate did come off it's not stuck onto the cable uh, what else oh so now unplug the M2 drive there we go so now the four cables that are connected along here are disconnected and there's a motherboard screw that we need to remove which is this tiny screw here Okay, so now that should be enough to be able to slide this motherboard forward a bit. We still have the, the power, the DC power connector on the back of the motherboard is here. Uh, I could try to unplug that, but there's not a lot of room for it to move in the chassis here. So I'm going to actually start sliding the motherboard out first. And to do that... There are these two holes in the front of the motherboard next to the, the radiator. 
So here's one, and here's another one. I'm going to put two small screwdrivers in there, so you can see I've got these handles, and I'm just going to I'm going to try to slide the motherboard forward. So this front I/O panel, this is all built onto the the system board or motherboard, and as I slide this forward, it sounds a little bit brutal, but you can see it's moving a little bit. There's a there's now a gap here. So I can slide it forward a little more. And now I'm going to try to unplug that DC jack while I'm sliding. So that's all free. Yep, I've got all the cables off except for this DC jack. I don't want to pull on it very hard with the pliers, but there it goes. Okay. But, uh, so now the, the motherboard assembly is just sliding out. So there it is. So now I need to take out the power supply. This is along this edge. There is this little black box that's held in by the power jack is actually lock locking it in place. And there's a little metal clip here that has to come out. So this little metal clip there. So there's the, the AC input and there's the metal clip. And I should be able to grab that and pull it out. There. So now this AC jack should rotate ah, this way. So now that's loose and it's no longer holding power supply in place. Now there's, there is actually a screw, I forgot, <laughs> on the power supply. There's a screw right here holding the power supply. Okay, so that screws out. The AC connector is rotated, so now the power supply should slide out. And here it comes. So there's the power supply. So now, this, what's left is an assembly that holds a 2.5 inch hard drive, a SATA hard drive on the bottom, and on the top, an M.2 drive, which is it's a hybrid drive configuration. It's basically a SSHD, as some manufacturers call it. There's a, a solid state drive acting as a cache mechanism on top of a hard drive, except in Apple's configuration with a hybrid drive, they, they add the two together, so you end up with 1.12 terabytes of storage, the OS is strategically locating the things that are accessed most frequently on the SSD and everything else on the hard drive. And so they're just splitting the drive rather than using it as a cache. So now there's one screw left. So this screw is holding this drive assembly in. And so now the whole thing should be loose. So I'm going to slide it forward like this and then Lift it up and out. It's got the IR sensor over here for the remote. So there's the hard drive connected with, there's a SATA connector here to that ribbon cable. And then this ribbon cable goes here. And then that connector is for the IR sensor. Now, because of the way Mac sets this up, I can't just take this drive out and read it. When these two drives aren't together, the Mac is unable to read this hard drive on its own. So I've already rescued the data off of here that I needed to by using an external drive, booting onto that, and then copying the data. So I'm just going to remove the hard drive and replace it with a big SSD. So now I need to disconnect it from this SATA cable without ripping anything. I think what I'm going to do is let this drive fall out of here and take that cable through that slot. It would be easier if that bracket had come off. There we go. Okay. So the drive that I prepared earlier, I've got a Crucial MX500 500, 500 gigabyte SSD. This has a fresh install of macOS Monterey on it with the customer's data copied over onto it. Oh, so now I'll just let this fall into place and screws.
Okay, so now I'll just put this back together. And I'm just trying to rotate this back into place. Yeah, there we go. To lock that in and put this clip in to hold that in. So that slides down around the bottom of that. All right, that's the power supply. Both of those screws are in. So next, it's the motherboard. Now, when I do this, I need to make sure that this lines up. There's a little rubber kind of seal here that I don't want to pinch off. And the same on the other side. Make sure that all that fits in there. So it's lined up. I need to plug in the power supply DC jack on the back before I slide it in. Okay, so now... Kind of tricky to line up so i'll use the pliers i'm not squeezing very hard i'm just using that as kind of skinny fingers there beautiful so now i can slide this the rest of the way back i'm just going to double check that i've oh see i i am caught there okay nice so now that's in it's sliding back i'm just going to make sure my connectors aren't being trapped so SATA connector looks free. This IR connector looks like it's a little bit at risk when I push this back. So I'm just going to make sure that that's lifted up. Beautiful. Okay. Put the M2 connector back on. Put the SATA connector back on. Just kind of feeling around for where it feels like it clicks and then I'll push down. And now I need to put that screw in, since the plate is already on there. And then put the plate on the M2 drive. Just lay that on there. Um, the motherboard screw has to go back in. So that boy over there. And now the fan. So the fan has this captive screw that goes into this big hole here. And when I lay the fan in, I need to make sure that this corner slides underneath the edge, you know, that it doesn't try to overlap. I guess it wouldn't anyway if the holes are lined up. Oh wait, before I do this, I need to plug in the fan power connector. So I'll get that there. Now maneuver the fan so that the screw can go in, the captive screw, and that this, the fan is lined up. Okay, now I'm going to replace the lid. And this had the Wi-Fi antenna wire that we need to connect. So over here, it plugs in, plugs into there and screws onto there. Can see the corresponding connector. Okay. So now I'm just going to tuck the Wi-Fi antenna wire around the edge the way it was when it was when it came in. And now put these screws and clips back on. So the, the big ones that, that have the clips on are at 6 o'clock, uh, 2 o'clock, and 10 o'clock. Okay, that's back together. So the current configuration is I still have the M2 drive that was part of the hybrid drive, but now that hybrid drive is split. So it's in a split drive configuration, which means there should be, it should detect a separate 128 gig SSD that is an unknown format. And then the 500 gigabyte crucial SSD that has macOS 12.1 Monterey. So we will see. That's it. That's done. So thanks for watching.